All right, we're here. Now well, that seems loud. Maybe it isn't. I'm here, and wouldn't you know it, John, there's a fly. Drives me batty. Um, it's early, I know. I know we said 11.30. I was being cautious. I'd rather be early than late. Um, in this case, I was on time. I'm here, but unfortunately, I do not have a choice. <laughs> what? And let's hope there's not any meth around. Wh what did I miss? Um, I um, had a conference call, and it ended earlier than I expected. Um, and I didn't want to be late. So we're here. Uh, that means we can still... Uh, we could still do this. How y'all been? BGR, how was your day? What's going on? Today I got Mafia 3. <laughs> That's why you didn't have a choice. It's been four hours and it's only 40% installed. It was a free game. And I heard it sucks. Take your time. Enjoy that slow download. Got a lot of stuff done. Oh, I see what's going on. Hold on. That mic is... Check, 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 check. It's really... Okay, that's better. My mic was like blasting. I could see it. I could feel it. Um, yeah, I had, a, I had a long day. We had camp from 9 to 9. I had to learn some software for some of the music that we do uh, on a MacBook. Um, and then we dealt with some rain. That's right, John. Rain. We dealt with some storms. I can feel it. You got it, John. I can feel it. I have to say it like that. Um, so, yes, we had rain. Um, and tomorrow morning, it's supposed to rain again. Um, tomorrow night, um, I said tomorrow night was going to be Monster Hunter World. Uh, but Blossom was quick to remind me that tomorrow is not August 9th. Uh, and that's when Monster Hunter World comes out. Now, I don't know what time it's released, if it's midnight Pacific or whatever. Wouldn't matter because I can't download it um, until whenever they release it. And that's going to take some time. So. Uh, so tomorrow, we'll probably stick with Contra, um, see if we make any progress. The goal for me now is can I beat Contra with continues only without using the code? That's my that's my main goal. After that, anything else is bonus. Um, obviously, a great goal would be to never use a continue, but come on. Monster Hunter is not one of them. Um, at least it's not an option right now. Maybe they'll do it tomorrow, but it's not an option right now. I did check. Um... So, yeah, I would love to... We realized that levels 5 through 7 were really rough on Contra. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to... Uh, I'm going to need to do that. I know, BGR. I know, I know, it's not... I mean, it depends on how, ma how many hours we put into it. I mean, how, how much do we really want to invest into it? I would love... Listen, I would love to be able to say I could just beat it with the continues. I know you do. I know you mean it in a loving way. I I would love to beat it just with the regular amount of continues. It's hard enough. I mean, what do we do? We couldn't even get past the fifth level. We made it to level five with our continues, and then we just got destroyed. There's there's three continues plus your original three lives, so you get a total of 12 lives. And the idea for me is I want to be able to not die in the first two levels. Let's say I get one death in the third level. No deaths in the fourth level. I should I should not be able to die in the fourth level because that shouldn't be. If I die in the fourth level, I'm not doing it right. And then that gives me 11 deaths for level five, six, seven, because level eight, the final level wasn't awful. I do not have Grizor. I do not have that. Unless it came with the package. You know, I'll look. 
I will look and see if I have it. If I do, it came with that bundle that I originally downloaded, and I think we all know how that worked out. Let's see. I don't have it. Nope. I do not. Greiser looks way better. Is it the exact same response? Because because that wouldn't be me beating Contra. That's the problem, right? I didn't beat Contra. I beat Grizor. I want to say I beat Contra. I think that's the idea. There's so many games we have to play. So many games. It's harder? No, no thanks. No thanks. It's that fifth level. It's that fifth level that gets me. From what I can tell, Greiser is Contra, but with cutscenes and an overworld map between levels showing where you are. Other than that, it looks the same. Hmm. Okay. Um, so I know you all probably don't care and that's okay. Um, but sit back and watch somebody open a crap ton of card packs, um, and see how many legendaries we get. I'm pretty sure when we did this last stream out of like the 180 packs, we got like nine legendaries. Um, and I have like 193. So I'm going to I'm going to start with this and we'll see how many cards we get. Um I'll kind of talk through them as I go. I don't know if any of you all have even bothered with this game. Actually no, I don't want to play. We're not playing. Hold on, the trees move. I want to click on that. Now you're making me want to click on it. Let's see, what is it? You can feel it. All right, let me see. It's not loading. Load. Oh, because I'm doing it through Edge. Of course. Got to do it in Chrome. I want to see. Huh, they do move. Look at that. It's like they're dancing. Huh. Why didn't we get that? Why couldn't they do that for us? Konami couldn't go the extra mile. Oh, he just fell right down on that. I got to watch these speed runs. I got to see how they play them. That's what I got to do. I got to learn. I got to learn them. A metal version of Contra. I'm good. <laughs> All right, let's open some packs. All right, we have 193 packs. Um, the way these work, we get five cards, and at least one out of the five cards is a rare. Um, there's going to be a point where after about 40 or 50 of these packs, we're going to get tons of duplicates, and you just disenchant them, and you use the stuff you get from the disenchanting to buy new cards. First pack. First pack. Ready? First pack. They just released the expansion today, so we have a rare there. You can see the blue glow. That's all that is. And we want some goldens. It'd be nice to get some golden cards. Add two random minions to your hand. Just a rare again. Look, 
This is our second pack, and we already have two repeat cards. We just got these two cards. We just got these same two cards in the last pack. And now we have three of that card. <laughs> We've gotten ten cards, and three of them have been the same. There's another toxicologist. That's another duplicate. Um, oh, okay. <clears throat> So do you know what this game was based on? What, Warcraft? I mean, I... BGR, I don't know if you know. I played World of Warcraft for about three years, and I had about 3,000 hours in it. And that might shock you. But there was a point where I had about four level 85s, and then the next expansion, I think I got one of them to a 95. And I got abs... I blabber there was a point where i got so burnt out that i would sit at my computer and this is the way blossom felt i think with dota there was a point where i would sit at my computer and i would just feel ill because i didn't know not because you did oh you didn't know because i did, you didn't know really the first line of wikipedia says hearthstone originally hearthstone heroes of warcraft yeah <laughs> um, that's shocking BGR um, yeah so so I would sit at my computer there was a point where I was playing World of Warcraft um, for at least four hours a night longer than my streams every night and I mean day after day and you can type in slash played and um, you can type in slash played on World of Warcraft it'll tell me how I'm It'll tell you how many hours you've played with that one character. And in one character, I had about 2,000 hours. Um, so I would do that every night for two and a half years. I mean, I was raiding. I was in a guild. I was so into it. I would, I mean, I, it was my happy place. I would have one monitor with like cooking shows or Anthony Bourdain traveling or whatever. And I would have World of Warcraft. And I would, it would just be like a drug. Like I would just sit down and I'd feel at peace. I'd be like, okay. I can just play my game, play my game. But when they kept doing these new expansions for World of Warcraft, Work, World of Warcraft, all of the daily quests were like fetch quests, and you would do them over and over and over. It'd be like the same ones, and all you would do is after about a month of grinding those daily quests, you would turn in the tokens you'd gotten from them for like one piece of armor after like a month, and you'd get the one piece of armor. And then for all you knew, you'd do a raid. And then you'd end up getting an item that was better than what you'd grinded for for a month. And there was a point where I would log in and I would start the daily quests and I would just feel my body just drooping. I'd be like, Bleh. I couldn't do it anymore. And I just stopped. And actually in this game, in Hearthstone, they had a special character portrait of one of your people it was kind of animated, and the only way you could get it was to get a new character in World of Warcraft up to level 20. Just from level 1 to 20, which takes like like four days of go-go. Probably quicker for other people. And I mean, it was rough just for me to do that, to get it back to level 20, because I was like, how fast can I get out of here? But I wanted the portrait for this. What am I missing here? I think I'd still be addicted to Dota if its community were much less toxic. But after a while, you're just like, eh, I'm miserable. No one should play MOBAs or MMOs. I I mean, I know people were selling. Blabber, this means you. I know people were selling accounts um, on World of Warcraft. And my kind of account, I had achievements that took a long time to get. And like mounts, like, thing, like different vehicles that I would, I would ride. Um... Yeah, I had a lot. A report from the mirror suggests that too much of a thing can be a bad thing. Coughed up blood, collapsed, and died before his fellow gamers. I heard about the internet cafe. It was because he wouldn't go to the bathroom. And he wouldn't eat. Something like that. Did you stop because you wanted to? Or like your wife or something was like, um, no. 
I would always do it when I'm like right now, my streaming schedule, my wife's asleep right now. My wife's in the bedroom asleep. She has to get up and go to work at 6 a.m. Yeah, he was like using the bathroom in his uh, in his I, I guess he was he was just using the bathroom sitting there. Um, I think he also uh, John, I think the coughing up blood was actually maybe energy drinks. I think he was doing a ton of energy drinks to stay up. He might have OD'd on them. Uh, and yeah, I think he did just go. Uh, no, my wife, she never really watched me do World of Warcraft because she was asleep. She didn't care. All right. So, yes, this game, and I played Warcraft 2 um, back in the day. Loved Warcraft 2. So, some of the music in this game, the load music, is Warcraft 2 music. Golden rare. That's our first gold. And it's a rare. So that's good. Give a minion 2-2. Two, two, add more arms to your hand. That gives 2-2. Two, two. That's a good card. We've opened five packs. And we've only gotten rares and one gold. And that's it. These are some rough packs, you all. You'd possibly play a Warcraft 4. I would definitely play a Warcraft 4. I bet Blizzard could figure it out, but they're too they're too into World of Warcraft. Why would they bother? I had a heart palpitation once because I drank three energy drinks one day. And when that happened, I said, no more drinks. Um, I've only ever had one energy drink a day. You loved Warcraft 1 and 3, didn't like 3. Um, I liked one and two. There you go. Uh, Warcraft two for me was wonderful. It brings back memories of, of playing it back in the day. These are awful, by the way, these decks that I've started with very rough start. There's a golden, the skater bot. Well, one one with magnetic and rush, and for Hearthstone, Matic. Oh, look, I got two of those in one deck. Two skater bots in one deck. One gold, the other regular. The golds are animated. You can see this is moving, and this one is not. Um, magnetic is something new in this, and I don't really know much about it. Back in the day, playing Warcraft two online. Yeah, uh, that was. Oh, we got a legendary. There's one legendary. And an epic. That is a good deck. Legendary. And an epic. Choose a friendly minion. Summon a 5-5 five, five copy of That's a good card. A 9 cost priest spell. That is a very, very good card. This is a good card. Summon a 1-1 one, one copy of each minion in your deck. So if... You've got minion. You've got seven minions in your deck because you can put seven minions on the board at once. That throws seven one ones, and if they're all really good, that is a good card. That's a good one, Blabber. I don't think Blabber's playing this game, but I think he he has played it. Um, I have I've played Shadowverse for like a day. I I understand what it is for the most part. Um, and I know it's part of. I know it's a little bit of anime. I have done it, so it wouldn't be a true reaction. I didn't care for it that much. And I think the difference is it's because I play this game too much. It's hard for me to get out of this game. Um, because, here, I'll, I'll make a point here. Hold on, Blossom. I'll show you why. Let me see if I can find one to give you an example. So, for instance, this one, just this one, it has Taunt. It's a 512. So, I would get a 1-1 one, one of it, but it would also have Taunt. So, it would bring up a minion that, and Taunt means you can't attack your hero. You have to, talk, you have to attack this guy first. So, he has something else other than just being a 1-1. One, one. There are others that have great, great um, specialties, like when they die, something special happens, or at the end of your turn, something special happens. So even though it's a 1-1, one, one, you still get that effect. If I find another one, I'll show you. Yeah, the 1-1 one, one would still do those. Um, I just need to find one that would give an example. 
but I keep getting repeat cards. Like this one has Divine Shield. It's a 9-7. I would get a 1-1 one, one with Divine Shield. And the Divine Shield is essentially a bubble where you have to burst the bubble before you can do any damage. So he would get that effect. Yeah. Uh, Murlocs. There's Murlocs in this game. Uh, Murlocs, though, in this don't have a ton. The River card. There's no River card. There's also a clone with League of Legend characters, Hearthstone Light game as well. Uh, taunt means you have to attack it before you attack your hero. Divine Shield means it's you don't have to attack him. You don't have to. You can still attack the hero if you want. It's almost like guy, a guy with taunt is is blocking your path to the hero. You have to attack him. But the Divine Shield is like a bonus invincibility that you have to remove before you can do any damage. Deal five damage randomly split among all minions except mechs. All and if you notice this is a mech, this is a mech, this is a mech. This expansion is all about robots, all about mechs. Yeah, it doesn't matter how much the damage is. Like you can do nine damage to a guy with one health, but if he's got a, a divine shield, you're not going to kill him with the nine damage. So those that divine shield can be really good. So okay, look at this guy. You see this guy? Destroy a random enemy minion. Mech. Mexicans. Yes, that's exactly what this is. So this guy has destroy a random enemy minion. If I had summoned a 1-1 one, one version of him, he would still have that destroy a random enemy, enemy minion. So when he dies, that helps me because one of his guys is going to die as well. You think about this game more of numbers. Well, it is a numbers game. It's more about value too. You need it's it's how much value can you get for the, the current play you're getting. You want the most value per turn. It might always might always be the best choice at the time, but it could be the most value over time. The mag, but it's not so. So death rattle is not always magnetic. In fact, um, magnetic is new. Apparently, magnetic means it absorbs a, a power of somebody else. Um, and I'm not sure exactly how that works. I think it has to. Maybe it has to be a mech. I'm not for sure, um, but that's that's a new thing I'm still learning it. But like this one is just a death rattle. Give all demons in your hand plus one plus one. Well, you have to build a deck that's just demons. So that's a pretty good that's a pretty good one if you if you use demon decks, which I use one. So we've we've opened thirteen packs and we've opened one legendary, two golds I believe. All pretty similar so far. It's another Mechano Egg. Mechano Egg? It's a weird... I don't know how you would say that. Mechano Egg? Like, I'm excited for Artifact as long as it's 100% its own thing. If there is ever an event similar to what you described, level up a character to 20 and <laughs> ready to play to unlock it. Uh, bye. Uh, they might find a way to put them together. I saw, I don't know if anybody follows uh, Tommy Rafines, if it's how you say it. He's the one of the uh, creators, if not the main creator, I don't know, of uh, Super Meat Boy. Um, he retweeted something today where it said, I saw that Fallout 76 is going to only be available by using the built-in Bethesda installer. Um, well, they just did a new Super Meat Boy. I mean, it's out right now, coming out for PC soon. Um, but he's funny. He on Twitter, he's funny. Um, and somebody said Fallout seventy six is going to have a new Bethesda installer. And people, he said, uh, I can't wait for people to say I'm not playing this game because of that, and then immediately turn around and buy it because they realize what choice do you have if you want to play the game? I've already beat both of those games, Blabber. Certainly not on stream, and certainly not any time very recent. But I have beat both of those games before. Very good games. Um, I just don't... There's an epic. I just don't have a huge desire to play them, because I already know how they turn out. Golden Rare is good. 
and another epic. The same epic. That's the exact same epic we got earlier. Uh, speed run. I can't speed run them because I don't remember that much about them. I know how they end, but I don't remember all the puzzles. Boy, I feel like I'm getting a lot of the same cards. Two rares. Still looking for a really good pack. Like a good pack. I did get an epic and a legendary in one pack. So far, that's our best pack. Here's an excerpt from Super Meat Boy Forever's website. Two buttons? That sounds dumb. Here's the thing. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Here's the thing. Shut up. All right, golden common. Still more of the same. Epic. Rare. I'd like a golden epic. So that guy, the Hollowmancer, after your opponent plays a minion, I summon a 1-1 one, one copy of it. So that could be good or bad, depending on what he plays. If it's just a standard minion, it's not great for me. Edmund McMillan isn't working on Super Meat Ball forever. Meat Boy. Man, Edmund must be terrible to work with. He split off with Danny V2. I'm curious about Binding of Isaac because I've heard so many good things about it. But I don't know if I like the idea that once you beat it, you just keep doing it and it's kind of random and new stuff. I don't know. Sometimes I like to beat a game and move on. That's just me, though. All right, this is the 28th pack, and we've gotten one legendary. Golden rare is good. Yeah, I had seen people playing that Enter the Gungeon. I just don't know if that's my kind of game. Summon copies of all demons you control. That's a good card. That's a pretty good card. It's a little expensive. Six mana. Another Mechano Egg. I guess that's going to be one of my highest cards. Which is weird because it's a Paladin card, not a neutral card. Yeah, I don't know if I don't... I'm not, I'm not that interested right now to play those games. I think if I was interested in them, I would have done them already. There's another Mechano Egg. Where are the legendaries? Only one? Um, yeah. But I have Hearthstone. Another Mechano Egg. This is becoming a, a joke. Um, but I have Hearthstone. I already have my game that I can do a couple matches and move on. Um, oh, there's a legendary. Finally, give me a golden legendary. The I think I think a golden legendary is like 0.1 percent drop rate. Another priest legendary. The the other one we got was a priest legendary. So we might be doing priest. If you've cast any spells on this minion, resummon it. That's not a great card either. I saw that before. I don't know if I don't know if that's a great card. But a legendary is a legendary. Yeah, this game for me is kind of like playing chess. There's a lot of strategy and a lot of randomness. Chess, you're in more control, I guess. Actually, you're in a ton of control in chess other than your what your opponent does. But you can't control your opponent in this either. 
and there's the the randomness. For instance, look at this card here. Each player transforms a random minion in their hand into a demon. So you can play that card, but you don't know what you're going to get out of it. No. In fact, I don't know if anything has been done in this game based on those two games. There really have been no crossovers in... It's only been World of Warcraft. They've been drawing all of their um, lore from World of Warcraft. All the characters, all the spells. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could see them do it, but I think they're just trying to stick with it. BGR, you love chess. I like chess, too. Um, I don't, I don't, I haven't played it in a long time, but I used to play it all the time in high school. Yeah, blabber, they just do whatever. Whatever they can do to make people keep coming back and pay that monthly subscription. Epic. I actually kind of liked Plants vs. Zombies, but what I liked about it too is that it did have an ending. You know, I always strive to try to get to the end. I'm pretty sure I beat the first one. Oh, uh, yeah, there was at one point, wasn't there actually? I think there was a Plants vs. Zombies crossover at one point. I might have done that. But man, it's been a while. Golden rare, that's good. The spider bomb. We've been getting some more gold cards, I think. Alright, we've gotten two legendaries, both for a priest in our first 47 packs. Not great odds. It is a good game. I, w I would replay it. <laughs> John, five hours in. Looks like we're opening them all night. Listen, we've opened 50 packs. And we've been doing it, I would say, for 25 minutes. So, it's going to be another hour. <laughs> I'm also kind of taking my time, but, you know. I don't want to just burn through them. I like to enjoy and understand what I'm opening. Uh, actually, Plants vs. Zombies music was pretty quirky, right? I, I do remember enjoying two epics, enjoying its music. Two epics in a row. Ooh, give all minions in your hand plus two plus two. That's a good paladin card. Is that the first person shooter? Epic. Unexpected results. Summon two random two cost minions improved by spell damage. Okay. You know, I heard a lot of buzz when that first person version was coming out, but then once it came out, no one really talked about it. Third person shooter. Okay. Show me the legendary. Discover a secret. That's a good card. This is a good 1-3. That, that card will be used a lot. Actually, I just got two of them. 
Apparently she also did some stuff for To the Moon. I don't know that game. Yeah, I don't want I don't want people to tell me a game is going to make me cry because I find myself two rares and an epic and a legendary. Wow, look at this deck. Two rares, an epic, and a legendary. I I think if somebody tells me I'm going to cry, I'm more prone to not crying because I'm ready for it. So I don't have that emotional reaction. It has to catch me off guard. You know? That's a really good deck. Two rares, an epic, and a legendary. And that's a good card, too. That warlock card. That will see some play. Okay, so that's three legendaries in sixty-one packs. So we're still we're back to our one every twenty. See, I with Lufia too. I wasn't as attached. The characters I was kind of attached to, but I was more attached to the overall feel of that game. John cried during an episode of The Wonder Years. Go on. Give me the detail of that episode. I, I remember The Wonder Years being a very, very good show, and I remember it being relatively emotional. Um, because they were such good actors, and you, you got close to those characters over time. I watched that show religiously. Yeah, I think people would react differently on stream than if they were just by themselves. I do agree with that. What'd they do in the start? Epic. Weaponized pinata. Add a random legendary to your hand. Uh, it wasn't even an emotional episode like the one where Kevin's brother goes to Vietnam. Instead, it was Kevin's math teacher who dies. But Kevin still aces the test after getting Fs. Stupid show. So... So, are, were we blaming the teacher for being a bad teacher, and then the new teacher comes in and helps him ace the test? So, it was the teacher's fault. He did it for the teacher, Blossom. Blabber, if Blabber's still in here, we were talking, um, we were talking in, uh, drumline yesterday who was it somebody was saying that they had a teacher that was awful and uh, made them fail and I said oh yeah I'm sure it was the teacher's fault they said no no it's, and even Caleb was like yeah it's uh he he's he's rough golden rare but I don't know who it was blabber Um, I don't know what, is it Go, G-O? Epic. That's a good pack. Rare, epic, golden, common. And so we just didn't. I think it was Kevin saying math is stupid, but also telling the teacher he's a loser. Boy, that's a basophobe. That's a that's a good uh, typo there, John. 
He must be on his tablet. Only three legendaries so far? Man, this is rough. Epic. Golden epic. That's good. If you have ten mana crystals, your spells have lifesteal this turn. And that's for Shaman. Another epic. A rare. That's a great pack. Golden epic. Epic. Rare. No results found for Bisulfapine. Did you mean Bass Viol? Viol? Base Gallop, Base Viol, Base Viols, Base of Fuel, Base Viols. <laughs> I'm sure it was uh, Base Gallop. Legendary. That's our fourth. This will be our fourth. And it is a rogue. This is a very interesting legendary. Look at that. Draw the rest of your deck. So you draw it, and then you have nothing else left. So you better you better be ready to win when you draw that card. Or when you play that card, I should say. That is the fourth legendary. Did you see that one, Blabber? Well, imagine, imagine like a pirate deck where you're moving as fast as you can, and you're playing a bunch of low-cost minions, and you run out of cards quickly. The idea is you can play that on turn five, have a full hand... And hope to win in the next two turns because you're not going to draw any more cards. Rare and epic. For each card in your hand, deal one damage to a random enemy. The problem with that is it's a six cost and you only get a three, three creature like this. That's a weak card. That's an interesting card. They're trying to push that shaman. And that is 80 packs. We've now opened 80 packs, and we have four legendaries. So still on that one every 20 kick. What does it matter if you can't draw cards? Well, because you can only hold 10. You can only hold 10 at a time, and you have 30 in your deck. So let's say I've drawn three, and then I draw another, draw another. So by turn five, I've gone through eight cards. I play my turn five legendary and I draw what would be you know if I've played a bunch maybe I draw maybe I draw eight because I have two in my hand yes you draw the rest of your deck so when you draw the rest of your deck you'll draw the top eight or how many cards you have left that can fit in your hand of ten and then every other one will dissolve and just disappear they're gone you get the first you once your hand is full anything after your full hand is drawn and disappears. And that's a, a strategy in the game. There are, there are decks meant to make you overdraw and run out of cards to use. So then what happens is every time you draw, after that, you lose health because you have nothing to draw from. So the reason they have that is because the your, your deck would be built to move very fast. A very fast deck. Play a lot of small minions, do burst damage, um, that's the only reason you would play that card because you're, you're probably hoping to win on the next two turns. So you weren't going to draw the next three turns anyway. That's, that's the idea for that deck. There's another epic. We're getting some epics. That's good. Another weaponized pinata. Speaking of pinata, do you all remember that? What was it? A pinata? What was it? Viva pinata. Xbox 360. I enjoyed that game. Viva Pinata. I I'm pretty sure I might have gotten all the achievements for it. It was a rare game. Really enjoyed the look and the colors. Really, John? It was really good. People might disagree, but I think it was pretty popular among the people that were into it. It had some uh, longer uh, replayability in it. Not over and over, but it was kind of like, you know, you kept wanting to do the next thing and do the next thing. Yeah, it was just the art style and the bright colors and the, the you know, for the 360, the detail they put on the pinatas. 
All right, some bad packs now. 90 packs, four legendaries. Quite a few epics. I already had that epic too. I played that game, John, on my iPad because I never played it on the Xbox. And I tried to get through it, but um, I lost my it lost my interest. Probably because it was on an iPad. We're at the hundred pack mark. We have a hundred packs left. See, the hard part about this game is you're only allowed 30 cards in your deck. When you're allowed 30 cards, you have to get rid of cards that you'd like to use. You have to really pick the top 30 cards that you think have the most synergy. Night Blabber. You know, it got such good reviews, John. Um, I think it was just me playing on my iPad. Didn't keep my attention. Golden Rare. All right, we've almost drawn a hundred cards. It's a good pack, two rares and a golden common. So here's our hundredth pack drawn. Well, since I've already purchased it for my iPad, I can always re-download it and play it. Hey, I don't know if you all saw this, but um, last night after the stream, I streamed from my phone for about two minutes uh, with the Streamlabs mobile app because they added a new function where it will use the screen capture function and it will just broadcast uh, your phone. So I was playing a racing game, and I had it going on the computer so I could see what it was looking like, and it was really laggy. I deleted the video. It was two minutes of a racing game that was really laggy on the stream. I was like, why why is this so bad? I mean, it was a, it was a graphically intense game. Maybe it couldn't keep up with it. It just didn't make any, didn't make any sense to me. Um, so my girls, epic, my girls start school tomorrow and their sleep schedule is so messed up. You know, they were watching the stream when they were at their grandmother's, uh, last week and my grandma, uh, their grandmother is uh, central time. So an hour behind us. So they were already staying up later because of that. They woke up today at 2.30 in the afternoon. I was teaching band camp and my wife was at work. They woke up at 2.30 and they have to go to school tomorrow. They're up right now. They're going to be tired tomorrow. It's a good card. Give, them in, give a friendly minion four attack. Um... So they'll be coming in here at some point. Legendary, thank you. They'll be coming in here um, for me to put them to bed. So when they do that, we'll take a quick break. Let's see what the legendary is. I'd love to have a golden. Not a golden. This is a terrible, terrible, terrible legendary card. And I don't think anybody's ever going to use it. You start the game with one of Whizbang's wonderful decks. These wonderful decks are standard deck recipes that Blizzard puts together, and they're all really bad. No one's. This is. Just, I'm just going to disenchant it. It's awful. This is an awful card. Yeah. 
There's a druid. There's a druid legendary I'm going to have to get at some point. Five legendaries in 114 packs. Epic. Two rares. 76 packs left. We've opened 117. Awful pack. Oh! All right, that's a good one. That's a really good one. We'll be using that. Dr. Boom Mad Genius. This is a hero card. Um, it replaces your existing hero. And so for this guy, he gets seven armor. Plus, for the rest of the game, your mechs have rush, which means they, as soon as you play them, they can immediately attack another minion. That is a very good card to have. That is a very good card to have. That's six legendaries, and that puts us back on pace. It's a really good card. I'm sure that card's going to get a ton of play because there's so many mechs in this expansion that it just makes sense to play that card. Seventy packs left. Epic. Lots of epics. Golden rare is good. Set the attack and health of all minions to one. Hmm. I still need a druid legendary. Sixty-five. We're at six legendaries. If you have a landline in California, you could receive a reverse 911 call in the event of an evacuate. Wow. That's insane. You, you're not going to get hit by those, are you? You're not even close. You can see it from a long, long distance. But you're not in danger of getting hit by it. In Kentucky, we have sirens everywhere that you can hear. Uh, we have them. We have them where I in the city that I work in and where I live. You can hear the sirens, um, and they'll usually have a voice come over the siren. Yeah, I thought you were in the city. Because um, we definitely have some tornadoes. Like, there's times where, I mean, right in my front yard, we saw clouds spinning uh, two years ago, and I was like, our house can't handle it. <laughs> the entire state is done. My house is not uh, strong or big enough to withstand a tornado. So if one's coming, like, we've gone to the fire station here in town when we thought there was a chance. We took our dogs because um, it was supposed to be really, really bad. Uh, my neighborhood gets really, really bad wind damage. We lose shingles on our house all the time. Oh. <sighs> 
We're still at six. No, is it six or seven? We're at six in a hundred and forty. So that's not one per twenty. That's a good deck. Two rares, an epic, and a golden common. It's a really good deck. Not as good as that one legendary deck I had. Fifty packs left. We are seventy-five percent through. I'd like to get two more legendaries, which would give us eight. Last stream, we got nine. I, I'd like to get two more. I, I feel like that's not asking for a lot. Might be rough. Three rares. Like up the coast. Oprah's house surrounded by big hills with lots of brush. Burned a few. Uh, I think I did see that. Maybe you told me about it. Come on. Running out. The time has come for someone to put his foot down. And that foot is me. Yo, Doss Nerd. What's up? Legendary. This is not a great one either. Damn it. Swap this with a minion from your deck. It's like an everlasting card. Uh, once, once this card dies, you swap it with a minion in your deck. So you're constantly swapping and essentially um, you can play it over and over. But it's a legendary. Nonetheless, that's that's uh, seven legendaries, I believe. We'll find out when we're done. Do you do you play this game, Doss Nerd? We've opened 157 packs. And we have 33 left. I've probably been playing this game for almost four years. I do not play it on stream, but I play it when I'm killing time quite often on my phone. Yeah, I, you know, if you're if you're into Hearthstone, you you care about pack opening. If not, you know, you're just along for the ride. And you know, do you play it every day? I should add you to my uh, friends list if that's the case. Um, you can always send me an invite. I've been, I probably, I've been playing it, but I didn't play it the first year it was out. I think I started playing it after it had been out for one year. You want to play me in chess? I would play you in chess, John. We'd have to, uh. We'd have to find um, a way to do it online. I would play you, John. You think that's what the people want?
Oh, you're awful? That's not fun. I mean, I'm I'm not fantastic, but I, I used to play. I mean, I used to play quite a bit. Um, that being said, I wasn't any good. Just because I played it quite a bit didn't mean I was good. It's like um, most of the games I play on stream. By the way, let me say this. I know you all, we haven't talked about it, but Assassin's Creed Origins, I've, I've talked about it on stream. John said, how good can it be with it being in Egypt? The game is freaking good. I've probably got almost 30 hours in that game, and I don't feel like it at all. The game looks great. And the other day, I don't know if you all know this, the other day I was playing, and this meteor over the desert flew across it like a blue spark, and it landed. Um, cool, DOS nerd. Absolutely. Um, this meteor in Assassin's Creed in Egypt like came over and landed, and so I went and, and, just, and found it, and, and I went into this um, pyramid, and there was a puzzle, like a door, and it, it told me where to go. It had like a sundial, so I went outside in the desert, and I found a sundial, and I had to solve a puzzle, and I solved the puzzle. Um, yeah, they also have Memphis in it, um, and Memphis is not as big as Alexandria, but they make Alexandria look like ancient Rome in that game. Um, you solve the puzzle, and I go back in, and it's a crossover quest from Final Fantasy XV, I go in, and the guy with like the reddish hair kind of looks like Oron from Final Fantasy VII. And I don't know if it, I don't think it's him, but there's a guy I guess like him in Final Fantasy XV, maybe, who steps out, and like his sword and shield fall down to the ground, and he disappears, and you get it. So now I've got a Final Fantasy sword, not Memphis, Tennessee. I've got a Final Fantasy sword that when I attack has blue sparks his shield, and my mount in Assassin's Creed is a chocobo. Like, I was already enjoying the game, and I was like, this is fantastic. Now, I know it's not... It's a Egypt. There's no chocobos in ancient Egypt. What kind of game is this? But I'm a Final Fantasy fan, and this is a good game. So I was like, yeah. So... I'm, I'm in it. I've been playing it. I've gotten a lot of epics in this drawing. We need to get one more. I need to get one more legendary in the next 20 packs. Another epic. This crystallizer. Deal five damage to your hero, but gain five armor. Very interesting. <laughs> there probably were chocobos. There probably were chocobos. You think chocobos were real? I was hoping that in that game, the Chocobo music would come on when he rides it, but alas, it doesn't. It's just a simulation. Yes, I know. They're all memories. Uh, Cleopatra's in the game, and I didn't realize that. Uh, you see her, at least so far, I've seen her a couple times. It really is a good game. Go. Cool. That's a good pack. Rare. Uh, Dawsner, you should have seen one of the packs we had. We had two rares, an epic, and a legendary in one pack. Give me one more legendary. Yeah, if you can access those. If you can access memory into the original DNA. If that was a thing. 13 packs left. Show me the legendary. There it is. What did we get? A hunter? And that's not a great legendary either. These O2 goblin bombs. Eh, you got to have the right deck for that. Do I have any cards? That's what I'm opening right now, Doss Nerd. Every one of these cards I'm getting right now are from the new expansion. I'm opening up 193 packs, and I have 10 left, and they're all the new expansion. And I believe we've now opened eight legendaries, which means one per maybe like 14 or so decks. One or 14. One, no, that's not right. One out of every 
24 or so packs. One out of every 24 packs, we would have gotten a legendary. Unless I can get one in the final eight. Three rares, one of which is a golden. I was really hoping for a druid legendary. Because um, there's a really good one that, that we're going to have to have. Because it's going to be pretty standard with a lot of decks. So with all the duplicate cards we get, I have to disenchant these, and then you get dust, and you use that dust to buy other cards that you didn't get. So ultimately, I'm still going to get cards that I didn't get. Um, it just sucks that I couldn't get them legit. Um, I bought some of them, but I earned a lot of them. Um, I had a lot of gold. I had a lot of gold and use that gold to buy packs. I always save up my gold. A lot of people use their gold to do other things in the game, like buy packs from the previous thing or um, uh, arena, which is where you can earn more packs. Here's our last pack, everybody. Last pack. Golden common at a rare. There it is. All right, so let's do this. If we go to my collection. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. So if I go to crafting, oh, let me close this real quick. Uh, you can see disant, disenchant extra cards. I'm going to get 6,300 dust. And just to give you an idea, if you want to craft a legendary, a one legendary is 1,600 dust. Um, so this would be almost enough for four and actually you take the hundred, I'd have 6,405. I could craft four legendaries if I wanted. Um, but okay. So here's what we've got. These are the duplicates. We ended up getting one golden common as a duplicate. We got three of the same golden common. You can't believe that took an hour. Did you think it would be, uh, did you, did it feel like an hour? Did it feel like an hour? We got five epic duplicates. All right. So what we want to do is um, I want to filter back. And I want to use just Boomsday cards. And this will give me an idea of what we got. Okay, these are the cards we got. Now, I did get uh, some from the, the bundles that I'd gotten. Um, so I do have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 total. Wait, no, 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 that's 11. He's not a legendary. He says he'll get a legendary. So now if I go to crafting, here are the ones I didn't get. That guy right there. I need this. I need to craft him. I already know I'm going to have to have him. While in your hand, this is a 3-4 copy of the last minion you played. I'm just going to go on and craft him because I know I'm going to need him. Uh, so we have the hunter ones. I don't have any, either of the mage ones. Change the cost of minions in your deck to one. After you play the right, let's, before we craft anymore, let's see what we're missing. A paladin one, that's a good card. Kinda. We have both priest. Uh, I don't care about that right now. Don't care about that. Got both of those. Summon three random minions from your hand. Give them rush. Not right now. And then I already have that. No care. That's a good card. We're going to craft that. Oh, and Mechathune. Yeah. 
What are you talking about? The logic and strategy you're using right now is legit instilling fear. What do you what do you mean? What did I what did I say? I don't even know what I said. Yeah, we should play. I'll play on how about that? I'll play I'll play one game with you on stream. You want to do that? You want to play against me right now? Just one quick game. I am going to create this one as well. That's a good card. Ziliax. Take him. Uh, I'm going to disenchant this. I do not care about that legendary. That is awful. That is awful. I also started watching Justice League 2017. I'm halfway in, and honestly, I might not ever finish it. <laughs> um, I have, uh, we have access to watch the new Avengers movie, but I don't know the logic of which cards you are crafting and how you organize your deck, and I'm not near my P. Oh, he's not near his PC. Come on. Play it on your phone. Play me on your phone. You, I know you have it on your phone. Um, let's, um, so if you want to see real quick, Infinity Wars is worth watching. All right. So, uh, DOS nerd, I have 5,830 total wins. That's not counting losses. So I'm sure I've played over 10,000 games and in arena, I have over a thousand wins and I really don't play a lot of arena. I've only gotten 12 in Arena once. Look at him. Send a request. Send a request. He might, listen, he might beat me. Um, send me a, uh, send me a private message. I'll cover it up so they don't see your email. There you go. They won't see it. They'll see this instead. <laughs> yeah, how many wins you got? He he he'll beat me. Watch, he'll beat me. I need to know what deck you're gonna play. You gotta tell me what you're gonna play first. I have to be ready for it. You'll have to, uh, I guess you'll have to whisper me, Toss Nerd. I can't, yeah, you'll have to give me your email address um, or battle tag. And of course, I'm not using, I won't use any new cards. None of the cards I just got, I won't use them. I like how this picture really almost fits perfectly in the the frame. Uh, okay, his game isn't updated. Yeah, you have to update it with uh, with this new expansion. Yeah, go ahead and send it, and I'll at least add it. And that way, if you want to, um, you know, if you're ever on, you can play. Because um, they do some quests in this game for extra gold if you play against your friends. Because honestly, in this game, friends usually don't play against each other. Um, Because you're always too busy trying to up your rank or something. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'll play on stream. I'm just waiting for him to send me his info so I can add it and then I'll log out. And then we can do some level five. Start with level five, the snow level on Contra. <clears throat> I'm not even messing with the timer tonight.
John, um, do you want to do you want to do a quick game? We could probably find one on a website or something, right? <clears throat> How about you look it up? I could do that real quick with you. Not tonight. All right, that's fine. Just whenever. I don't care. All right, Dawson, are you sending me this? I guess to know so I can log out. Dos nerd. Dos nerd. Okay, cool. That works. All right. So I can get rid of this image then. Yeah. All right. Um, so... Let me change the title. Hopefully that works. I'm just practicing five through seven right now. Of course, I'm still waiting for my daughters to come in and say, we're going to bed. Okay, I gotta see how this works with this setup. Yeah, I think I can do it like this. Let me do, let's load, let's see what state, let's, yeah. Nice, we're right here. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna do it like this for now. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm, I'm not doing clock. I'm just practicing right now. This level gives me fits. And I'm starting off with the spread on purpose because I want to have the spread when I get to here. All right, here we go. I'm going too fast. Oops. Well, there goes my spread. Mm. Well, we can't even make it past that part. That's why we're practicing. Always kills me. All right, I'm gonna jump down off the last edge instead of trying to jump to him. Right here. Yeah, it would have warmed me up, but that's okay. We'll warm up. Right there, that's what we do. We jump down right there. Okay. 
You really can't beat that without this weapon. Like, you really have to have this. We learned yesterday that nothing really works. That almost was bad. Here's the boss. Well, that's okay. I, I got it, DOS nerd. Thank you. All right, so let's let's save here as another save state. Um so I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to load that again. We're going to do that again. But we have that save state. Let's go back and load. Let's get more comfortable with it. We survived it. Gotta jump down here. You get you can't forget you've got to jump down there. I did that on purpose because I didn't I thought it was gonna be a bad weapon and I didn't want the bad weapon. Alright, now we know. No! I I I audibled. I took my time. So remember, if I can make it that far, I'll still get a spread right there. So it's not the end of the world. If I can still make it to that point, we still get a spread. I got greedy. I was like, can I get it in one shot? It was close. It was close. I 
I gotta be ready for those guys. Sometimes I'm not paying attention to their bullets. Oh, that's bad. I somehow hit that wrong. Jumping and shooting gives you less shots? Does it really? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, you're right. I think it's pretty close, but yeah, you're right. I just want him to get one bullet off. I still think my biggest issue is going to be the third level, the waterfall level, but the difference is I can still get the spread even after dying once on the waterfall level. So it's okay if I die just once as long as I leave that level with the spread. Wow! Get right in the middle. That was a whooping. He got one guy out. Okay, well, we've done that one enough tonight. Let's uh, let's see what this one has to offer. We were okay on this last night. It wasn't awful. It were just some of the fire. Some of the fire were, you know, a little difficult to manage. Do that all the time. I forget that uh, ducking, jumping down also makes you jump up. All right, so I need to I need to practice that. Let's see here. Hold on. Let's go up to six and load. Okay. It's when I jump. It's when I'm uh, jumping down. He stands up to jump down, and so it throws me off, and I'm not ready for it. I feel like I could die to that pretty easily. Those guys. Also, that jump. You gotta be right at the edge of that platform to make that jump. Yes, it does, John. You are correct. Yeah, that little flame still can hurt you. That was close. I should have died there. This is the boss, right? I do need some... I, I'm going to save this state. I want to practice this guy. I don't feel like he's that hard. But... I want to I wanna see exactly what pattern I need to be doing. Can't 
can't get that close. I try to get a ton of damage. Uh, different pattern, right? I jumped. I jumped. All right. We want to jump over. We want to act like we're jumping over two. And I got lucky because he threw a third. Let's load that again. So if he's going to do that, I'm going to jump over two, not one. He didn't do it that time. He didn't do it again. Yes, T-Dog. What's up? T-Dog. Did you ever beat this game, T-Dog? Oh, gosh. It's a weird... It's just a weird pattern. I think you don't, the idea is that you don't try to get too cute with it. Don't turn around too quick when he comes at you. All right, that was the double. So, like right now, don't turn around too quick. Just get keep going away from him. That's not awful. You can abuse menus and skip a level. It seems like most are either indifferent or for it, but the world record holder is trying to defend that it's not interest of how skill-based the run is. Um, I guess I'm holding a button. I don't know if it's a turbo. Um, is that, is that, maybe that is turbo. I don't know. I'm just holding a button. I haven't played this game enough to know. I mean, a lot of speed runs are glitches though. Have you watched Hollow Knight? It's a, no, no, Mega Man 2. Like Mega Man 2 with all of the glitches that are in that. What is that, not a speed run? I mean, I guess it's glitchless, right? I guess that's the other button. So I guess maybe it is turbo. I don't know. It's just what I've been playing. Well, because I've seen because I've seen people do Hollow Knight and do uh, menu pauses. Yeah, that's the key for me. Jump over two. Yeah, that's it without turbo. Yes, it's primarily menus, and is that also the one where the horse is always, like, vertical? Like, down a rock? I hate that. You're, like, flying. Crap, I hit the wrong button. I guess T-Dog has beat this if he knows the spread. Come on, you gotta make that jump. No, I think it's probably my controller. I just, you know, I haven't... I'm just holding the button, but I guess that's... It must be turbo. One more time. 
This is it when I when I just keep pressing it. That's really tough. Can't be too close to him. Yeah, that's it without turbo. It's probably not allowed in speedruns, but I'm not speedrunning it right now. Okay, so that's that. Let's um, save the state there. Now, I am going to reload back to six. Actually, let's go back to five and do both of these levels and see if I can do both of them without dying. So my goal, T-Dog, is to beat this game um, with just using the allotted continues that they give you. Not the Konami code or any of that crap. Just beat it with the, code, the continues they give you and be done with it. Not trying to beat any world records right now. Just get through it. Konami. I mean Kentucky. It's Konami. Konami. I said Konami. Were you not listening? Oh yeah, I liked his uh I like I liked his character. I also like the like uh Margarita. Margarita. Oh I died. Well let's keep going. Let's do it the old fashioned way. for that weapon. Konami. Konami. Reservoir Dogs for me is too slow. Um, I like the, the scene where they're at the table talking about the tipping. Um, but it, and the ear cutting. But, you know, it's just, it's just a slow movie. What can you do there? You can't sit up or you're gonna die. I'm trying to do this with the pellet gun. We, I guess we need the practice, because we're not always going to have the spread. Extra man, too. lucky. Good save. Oh! 
Oh, that's another great save. Oh my gosh. Man, that is so lucky. I had one like that on the waterfall level last night that was just nuts. All right, let's see if we can beat him with this. Hey, Vagar. I got greedy. I got greedy. I thought I could kill him. Thank you. All right, cool. <laughs> no, Inception is a wonderful movie, John. It's a wonderful movie. Pro strat right there. Um, okay, well, so we made it through the two levels, and I think I died once, which is pretty good. It's pretty good. So let's let's practice level seven. Let's practice seven and eight now. <coughs> it's when all those little pellets um, are close from the other enemies. so close. I gotta remember that right there. Oh, that's some lag. So these carts are blowing up when I step on them. Oh no! Actually, did the cart or did his, did his bullet hit me because of the thing? What? No, 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 no. Okay, so we can't go down low, and you can't be on a cart. Well, now we know. We'll do it like this. We'll do it live. I lost then world record or may or something. You're third now. Yeah, Blossom's gonna start streaming it when he gets uh, a video card. What was this boss? What was this boss again? Um, I forgot. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. They come at you. Boy, that's really hard without the spread. Really hard without the spread. See? Tell him, Vagar. Sure you are. Oh, I missed it. I needed it. Yeah, with man, without the weapon. Whew. 
Okay. Um, let's do this again. Let's just do this again. This is what I, this is still what I need to practice on. I think we're getting close, but the problem is if I don't have that weapon at the end, I don't know if I can beat it. So it doesn't do me any good to get there and then not have the weapon. the spread. Oh, no, I already have it. What do I care? These trees also dance. As they should. Scare me to death. We're ready. Completely ready? Okay, I'll beat this level. I'm almost done with it. And then I'll take, uh, we'll take five here in a second. Um, <laughs> that's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> that's a good one. All right, so let me finish this level and then we'll take a quick break. I got to put my girls to bed. Not a bullet, not one bullet. It's a good question, Blossom. So I'm going to pause it. And uh, if you need a break, this is the time to do it. Uh, we'll be back. Go, go. Listen to that bass line. Do, 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 do. No, I needed him. Oh. oh my gosh, how did we survive that? Tell him. That's right. And hangs out in the girls' bathroom. There's no guns allowed in this. It's a gun-free goddamn zone. wide open. Look at this. For the win. Speaking of... Oh, man! Get some! You beat eggs. You do beat eggs. Can we really do it, Valerian? You do beat eggs. Can we really do it? Wife. Oh, shit. Oh, my lord. Oh, man. We did it. It's eggs. Oh, my lord. I did it. Wait. Oh. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Woo! Oh, get it. Oh my god. I had to get the two small ones up top to give myself room to shift the horizontal up. That was it. I had to get... I can't do anything after all. If you gave me... This would be funny. Come on. Spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that video tape. Like a Jezebel, you released your harlot image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Americana tar bestanding for an asset. Their Americana tar bestanding for one set. An American is standing unsettled. I left that last one on so Vagar could see it. <clears throat> All right, we're back. So we just finished level five without dying. Let's see how we do on this one. That was lucky. I did not mean to do that. I feel like this is going to be the level that really ruins me. There's just a lot going on in a couple places, and I haven't mastered those places yet. Because I'm just guessing. Hey, Spaz! What's up? What is up? We're trying to see... We're trying to see how we can learn this game. We're getting better, but uh, we haven't... We're still practicing it. None of those peeps raided. Well, it's okay. It's the thought that counts, right? Thank you for trying. Just trying to practice. You had like 17? That's awesome! Are you excited about doing this one? I know you are. You have to be excited about playing this game. Here we go. This is where it gets nasty. This part right here. That was so lucky. I need to practice that part. I've got to... I've... Oh, goodness. Oh, owned it as a kid. Look at you. Alright, well, that's different. I never beat it, ever. <laughs> never beat it. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to see if I can beat it with the pea shooter.
Nice. <laughs> you can eat it for breakfast. All right, well, can we keep doing it with the pea shooter? I need to see where power-ups are. Like right there. See, I didn't get that. Too busy trying to avoid things. Can't die there. How do you... Ah, uh, you gotta jump over the bullet. Okay. Although I don't have to go up there. I could go down. Like, I haven't gotten a single weapons upgrade. And we already know I can't beat the next level without it. Um, I don't think, no, I never, I never played that Blossom. Oops. <sighs> mm, that's okay. That's just, uh, the B, uh, whatever that stands for. Machine gun there. That helps. That's something. Gotta make that jump. There you go. Oh, okay. There's a spread. We're back. We know there's more to come. Right. We're gonna make it. Gonna make it. Gonna make it. Gonna make it. That's a three amigos line. It, gonna make it, gonna make it, gonna make it. That would be a good one to have a sound effect. Oh, I'm not watching. I was looking at chat. Crap, I needed that spread. I needed that spread. I blew that. I was not watching. Yeah, and this is hard. At least for me. I know, John. I missed him. Sniped. I wonder if there's a good place to stand. I feel like there should be. There we go. This is crazy, this is crazy, this is crazy. Yeah, if I look over at chat, um, I die. I, I don't know, I don't remember there being a lot of power-ups on this level. Oh wait. You miss them both. I really need that machine gun. I should I should I really should practice this level more. I think I've I think I've only played it a few times. There's got to be a limit to how many they can have on screen at once. shooting. He just quit. Okay. Spread. And it lands. You can't die there. What are you doing? Oh. an extra man. Oh, boy, they come in. You know, I guess I guess I should kill them no matter what. I'm too busy trying to run and not kill them. And then you die. Okay, let's try that level again. Let's try it again. 
now that we know that we can get this opening machine gun, that would help. Got it. Okay, that's going to be a big help. See, that one that went off screen never came back. I guess he won't come back either. Well, that seemed to take a little too long for a machine gun. Yeah, I almost feel like the pellet gun does more damage than this guy. But we've been okay with it, so we might as well. Get it? That helps. This jump, I hate that jump. And then you lose spread. Then you lose spread. That is a tough jump. Over three of them? Maybe we should shoot them. Not if they not if they do that. I'm dead. That sucks. Boy, that would really suck if we made it to the end and died. Let's continue it. Let's try it again. Missed it. Sweet. Now, where was that spread? It's close, right? Right here, right? Got it. And that's how you do it, too. Jump down and gra shoot down and grab it. Well, if I can keep the weapon, that was, that was the key. Can you keep the weapon? It's so freaking hard. So before, I'm always too busy trying to jump over the enemies, but I'm going to try to focus on killing them more, unless he lands on me. Dead. Alright, so 
And of course, that was from a save state. Don't don't go crazy. That was uh, from a save state. We we're just practicing, but we can do it. And we did it with the pea shooter. So we need to do it. We need to do it from the beginning and see if there's a possibility of beating this uh, from the beginning with continues, of course. Hey, 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 hey! What are you doing? <laughs> I'm throwing this away. We ain't even got no milk. You better put some water on that damn shit. Okay, let me see here. It's huge. Oh, it's because it's the wrong. Why? It's the wrong freaking um, link. All right. Uh, so let's do this. We're just going to put this yonder. No, not that. Come back. Oh, not that either. Right there. Okay. And let's um, let's take this and move it over. Um, kinda. That's not even right. Oh, I'm just I'm just butchering this. All right, hold on. Let's just do this. Go to the old setup. All right, shall we? It's too late. It's 1.15, but we're going to do it for maybe a couple. Maybe. Maybe. Now I can't exit. Right. Let's restart. We ready? I don't know. I probably can't even beat the waterfall level now. Watch. I haven't even played the beginning tonight. I haven't even played the beginning tonight. Are you prepared for Jehovah's return? You're not helping, John. Because if you're not, I have a pamphlet to get. Well, fuck you. Look, I can't even do this opening. And again, I'm not trying to set any speed runs. I'm just trying to see what would my time be. I forgot that was there. I almost died to him. And there's another one, right? how the speedrunners do it. They get it right. I'm not trying to go nuts here. Middle top bottom, John. Middle top bottom. I think I got lucky. Extra man, too. All right. We're off world record pace. Again, just... just Prog progressing through this would be massive.
No, you piece of crap. That's okay. Remember, we have the... We, we, there's another spread we can get on the uh, waterfall level. I didn't mean to do that. Next, there you go. Not the most accurate time, but the overall time will be the same. This, for me, this one is my Achilles heel. Sorry, I have to do that because he always kills me. And at this point, I'd rather just survive. I think our spread is up on the next box. But I also die here a lot, so I'm going to try to pay attention. Can't get that to do any damage. There we go. No! That was really close. Alright, we're almost a minute behind the time. But we're still alive, and isn't that the key? I just want to stay alive. I don't I don't have to go fast right now. Crap. It's not really how the speedrunners do it, but you know, you got to you got to innovate. Sometimes you got to do things different to set the standard. man. Keep her moving. Almost died there. Almost died there.
killed me. Gotta be kidding. Gonna die. Dang it. Can't kill it. Okay, that's one. That helps. Okay. And this is what we practiced tonight. And we haven't used any continues, BGR. But I don't think we played this with a pea shooter when we practiced. So I've got to make it to... i got to make it to the... Um, the one part. How lucky are we? How lucky are we? I really needed that spread and I missed it. Oh, and then you get hit by that. I can't beat this guy with uh Oh, actually I think I can beat it with him with a pellet shooter. Okay. We got an extra man. sucks that I missed that spread, but this weapon won't get it. It got the first thing, but it couldn't shoot through him and get the second. No thanks, you can keep the laser. You keep that. Alright, we did practice this with a pea shooter. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, no, this is different. Yeah, yeah, but we did practice it. Crap, I only have one man left. Nice. Okay, if we die, we're still here. That's fine. Let's go. First time. That's the first time we've been able to actually get a time. It is progress. That's absolute progress. I don't have any men. So we'll start back here. First continue. We didn't beat it continuous. We're happy to be here. We're just happy to be in the conversation. That's our first continue. See, I practiced all this with that spread weapon and that's throwing me off.
I wasn't going to make the jump. Yeah, this run would be different if I had that weapon. I know it would. We can still make it, though. I can even beat this boss with without it. Here's the hard part. Okay, that helps. Can we do it without dying? We practiced. Let's go! I'll take it. It's not ideal, but we'll take it. Oh no, you can't. Look at him just jumping right into me. I didn't know he would do that. No, and then you did. All right, well, we'll start this one over. Damn. All right, that's our second continue. We have one more after that. There is a spread on this, but I don't know where. I forgot where. No, stop jumping into that. It's going to be tough now. Only one man left. I mean, I think we can do it, but... It doesn't help. Oh, uh, the spread is up here. Hold on. Unbelievable. I can never tell where those frames are. beat this with the man we have and that's not easy
Yes! Let's keep going! Come on! We can do it. I jumped and fell. I jumped and fell. I jumped too late, is what I meant to say. And now I don't have that weapon. It's okay, we can do it. I think there is a spread. Yeah, there was a spread later. Yeah, we got it, and we kept losing it. No way we can do this in one man, right? Got it. Don't die. You died. Asshole. Last continue. And missed them both. Love it. <laughs> I knew you would clip it. Of course you would clip it. Like, if that's not typical, that's typical. I need that spread. I was too busy trying to get the enemy, and I missed it. get an extra man that's helpful yeah I knew that was gonna happen too much okay We got it. We got it. Save it for the credits. Time! Yes, sir! Whoo! No code for me. And we have a time to compare to. Look at us. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I can't imagine it's last place. We didn't even use our final. No, we did use our final continue, didn't we? I think we did use our final continue. Blossom, I want you to know, Blossom wasn't even here to see me beat it. Let me look it up real quick. Okay, Contra. It says the world record was 952 17 days ago. And um according to this, 
I am not last, but I am second to last. Last place is 23 minutes, 28 seconds a month ago. Second to last is 20 minutes, 14 seconds. Not last. Not last. That's a huge win. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Yep, there you go. Not last. I mean, we could easily make up time if we could get rid of the deaths, but I, I just can't move that quick in that game. I'm so pumped. Mexican runner, 959.4. He's sixth. He wanted his sub 10, and then he kind of quit after that. How about it? All right, well... What a win. What a win. 138 out of one out of 140. It's 139 out of 140. I'm number 139 out of 140. Okay, so let's reset. Do you want to update them? Yes. And there is now, uh, let me see real quick. Edits. Blitz, and then can you do total? No, not there. Uh, we have to do layout. So if I do uh, sum of best, no, possible time, current comparison, not total play time. Boy, that's really weird. There's something to not being last. You better post that time. You can only, I think you can only post it if you're, although I am, I thought, I don't know how to upload it. Maybe you have to be logged in at the same time, but I, I thought when I do it through RetroArch that it's also going through that. I could be wrong. Yeah, you have to be... No, it's not like that, John. For that thing, there's not someone checking your videos. You have to do it while logged in through their site, and so they have a record. Um, I guess they can detect where you are in the game and what the time stamp was. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it was. But, uh... Pretty pumped. We need to add it to our game of completion. Let's see here. Hold on one second. That is the um, it's the fifth Nintendo game we've beaten. Original Nintendo game. This was number 46. This is the 46th game we have completed on stream. And I'll tell you right now, it's not going to be the last time we play it. I'll, um, I'll be doing that every now and then to get some better times. Because there's, there's better times in me. I can't believe we beat it tonight. I was not expecting to beat that game tonight. Twenty-one minutes, fifty-five seconds. Graphics. Well, if we're comparing to like. Kung Fu or Mario 3, I would say it's kind of in between. I gave Kung Fu a 6.5, Mario 3 an 8, so I'd give the graphics a um, 7. Um, we gave Kung Fu a 4.5 in sound, and Super Mario 3 an 8 in sound. Uh, the sound's not bad in this game. I like the music. The sound effects are you know, Nintendo, but the music has always pretty been pretty memorable. And the gameplay is a, uh, a classic. 
So I give the game overall a 7.5. Kung Fu graphics are a solid 5. I always like the big sprites, the big pixels. I gave it a 6.5, but I gave the sound a 4.5. Yeah, they are, but it was. I always enjoyed the the bright bigness of it. And other Nintendo games didn't seem to have that. They were always kind of dull. But for some reason, Kung Fu had a brightness to it that very colorful that you didn't get in some other games. Yes, it was very same. It's not like they were. You know, it wasn't crazy. All right, we have saved our spreadsheet. A huge win. Um, maybe. Okay, so tomorrow. Um, tomorrow we will do, um, Metal Slug 3. Uh, we'll beat that in one night easily. Um, uh, it's unlimited continues. And then we might, we maybe will try to up our time a little bit. Cause honestly, um, I think you and BGR are the only people here. So only two people were here and I don't even know if BGR is here. Only maybe two people were here to witness history. History. So. All right, I'm out. John, thank you for hanging again. I'm on tomorrow. See you later.